Have you ever downloaded a character model for SOS Filmmaker and it ended up looking lanky? This video shows how to easily port Garry's mod models to SOS Filmmaker without having it look lanky due to the proportion pose. This actually applies to any model from any Source Engine game, but it is most prevalent in the god awful Garry's mod NPC to SFM crowd. Anyhow, let me show you how to do it properly. Go to the Garry's Mod Workshop and find a mod. Download the mod using Crowbar. Copy the URL into Crowbar's Downloads tab and download it to wherever you want. Unpack the mod using Crowbar. Every now and then, but increasingly more often, you will download a GMA file that Crowbar cannot unpack. To fix it, you must install 7-zip. Right click the GMA and click Extract here. You will get a brand new file that does not contain any GMA ending. Delete the original GMA, rename the one that you just get to addon.gma and unpack that one. Open the Materials folder and delete the VGUI folder. That is Spawn Menu Images. SFM has no need for that. Copy the entire Materials folder into Source Filmmaker's User Mod folder. Open the Model folder and head to the MDL or multiple MDLs if you have them. Usually you also have first person arms. You probably don't need those. Just the player model. Some models have various versions of the same model. So pick whichever you want or do all of them. Drag and drop the MDL onto Crowbar and decompile the file. Or decompile the entire folder if you have multiple MDLs and you want to decompile all of them. Open the QC files. Rename the model line if you want. That decides where the model is and what name it has. Sometimes the model path has the creator name in it and you probably don't want that in SFM because finding the model is just more difficult. Copy the SMD name from the model line. Scroll to the bottom of the QC. If you have it, delete all the collision joints part. Delete all the include model, sequence and animation lines. Make one single line that reads a dollar sign, sequence, idle, and then paste the name of the SMD model line. Save the QC. Open Crowbar and quickly make sure that SFM is set up properly in the Setup Games tab. Needless to say, all these lines, or at least Game Info, Studio MDL, and optionally HLMV must be set. Drag the QC file onto Crowbar. The Compile tab will auto-open. Pick Source Filmmaker as the game to compile to. Make sure the output to is set to Games Models folder. Click Compile. It should be done compiling when the log reads Compiling blah 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 QC finished. Check above for any errors. If you have errors, read them. Every now and then you come across a model that you can't just recompile. Like in this example. It's telling me that the flexes are broken. That is usually the case because either the flex names have spaces in them or non-numerical letters like greater than or smaller than or it has question marks. Unfortunately, when that happens, you have to manually rename all of the flexes with just Latin numerical names. In this example, I have some flex names with spaces and one that has greater than or smaller than. So I will just have to manually select the name and replace all the occurrences of that name with a new one. You will watch me do that real quick while I fast forward. Now you can go into Source Filmmaker and load the model. 
or at least check in each LMV if the model is compiled properly. And that's pretty much it. Just as a quick side note as to why this is so easy, but some porters seem to fail miserably at is, the fucky wacky pose is the proportion trick. And that is required if the model has to load animations that use different proportions. Garry's mod NPCs and pretty much any player model or NPC of any Source Engine game ever have animations. So we just need proportion trick for them. Source Filmmaker does not require animations because you are the pastor of Muppets. Uh, master of puppets. You puppeteer their pose entirely. You see, if you were to load the model that we decompiled in Blender, you will immediately see that the model itself is not fucked up. It's just chilling there, with its normal ref pose. So, we'll use that specific ref pose as the only animation SFM gets to use. Well, that's all for now. If you need help with modding Source Engine, you can join the dead 4 mods Discord server. We got tutorials, tools and a tip channel. Check those out first before asking questions, please. I also have my own Discord server where we mostly just shoot the shit and post memes. But there's also a work in progress channel where everybody can post the things they're working on or a modding channel where some people can ask questions, although if you have questions, the dead for mod server is better for that. That's it for today. Take care and see you next time.